Hey my beautiful bitches, it's me Fiona St. James and welcome to another episode of Fiona's Coffee Talks. And as always, I'd like to start off every day or afternoon with a hot, fresh black cup of coffee. Hold the cream, I'd love to. Of course, in my favorite coffee mug, and I think of the quote of the century by Oscar Wilde, life is too important to be taken seriously. So it is about 8 p.m. on Thursday, November 19th. Uh, and today's episode is called Home for the Holidays, or as I like to call it, Homo for the Holidays. <laughs> so, you know, 2020 has been quite the year, obviously, with this pandemic going on. Uh, the holiday season is kind of like anticlimactic. I mean, look, this video is probably going to air sometime like in a month because I'd like to shoot in advance. But like next week is Thanksgiving. And it's like, you know, usually Thanksgiving, like my entire family, we all get together. And like, frankly, we're not this year. And, you know, they're, they're saying that people should avoid like family gatherings or, you know, and I'm sort of at the place where like, you know, being indoors with a group of people is, I'm not comfortable with that. I mean, even with my own family, like, you know, I go and I see my parents every week and, you know, they're up in the Bronx and, but, you know, I was with them all day today and the, the four or five hours that I was there, I kept my mask on. I mean, they didn't, but th that's fine. But for myself, I sort of need to do that. But like, you know, Thanksgiving day itself, I'm not doing anything. Well, actually, my next door neighbor, she's really sweet. Hey, Tracy. She's going to uh, make Thanksgiving food. She did that also for like Easter. And, you know, and then she made me a plate of food. And, you know, we didn't even eat it together. She ate it in her apartment. I ate it in mine. We haven't even been in one another's apartments. So, but now my... uh Oldest sister, hey Wenji, she lives not too far from me. I'm in Sunnyside. She's in Elmhurst, which is about 10 minutes away. And she has a nice house with a big backyard. So even my sister, who I'm very close with, uh, I've only seen her a small handful of times since February or since March when this all first started. And excuse me, this past October, because she has this backyard, she... Uh, both of my sisters always go to Rhinebeck, New York. There's this like Rhinebeck festival that happens in October and was obviously canceled this year. So she had, we had our own little Rhinebeck festival in her backyard and we did that back in October, but her yard is big enough. And, you know, it was just like her and her husband and kids, my other sister, her husband and child and me. So it was like the 10 of us and, uh, whatchamacallit, we were all wearing our masks and, you know, and at least we were outdoors. So that was cool. So that's actually what we're going to do for Thanksgiving, not on Thanksgiving itself, but Saturday after Thanksgiving, we're have doing an autumn luncheon, assuming that the weather permits, you know, if it's rainy or like really freezing, it ain't happening. But I'm like, okay with that. Cause I know we're going to be outdoors. I'll keep my mask on. I keep my distance, uh, it's just going to be the 10 of us. So something like that, I'm okay with. But like, you know, the, the thought of going to like a big gathering or, you know, and, and that's why they're saying on the news to like not do that. And, you know, my only fear is that, you know, it's been so many months and I think people are, the cattle are getting restless. And, you know, I think people are sort of like fed up with the isolation or the not getting together. But guys, come on, you know. This second wave is happening, starting, you know, it started already and numbers are on the rise and, you know, hate to be a Debbie Downer, but uh, we have to take care of ourselves. And you know what? This too shall pass. So this holiday season is going to be sucky. Big deal. It's not the only holiday season. There'll be next year. Hopefully next year things will be, you know, a little bit back to normal and then we could all... Uh, have an even, even bigger celebration. So that's what I'm hopefully going to do next week, Saturday. And then like as for Christmas itself, you know, normally like, you know, Christmas Day, we go to my sister's as well. And we're not. What she wants to do the same thing, like, you know, on Saturday, next Saturday for Thanksgiving or autumn lunch. And she was like, we should do like what the pilgrims did and like, you know, be outdoors and just, you know, eat food and be all bundled up. So we want to do the same thing sometime in December, not necessarily like Christmas itself, 
but like just like one day in December that that week the handful of us could go and do her backyard thing and you know maybe it'll even snow and we could have like snowball fights and like you know go back to our childhood so we're going to make our fun that way uh, and and knock on wood I'm fortunate that my sister has this backyard because if not for that outdoor space I, I wouldn't even be seeing her the you know the one time that I saw in October and hopefully these two times coming up next week and then again in December, you know, that I'm comfortable with, but I'm, I'm sure that that's not the case with everyone. You know, maybe not everyone has that opportunity to do something outdoors like that. You know, it'd be wonderful if everyone could because when we were together in October, it was a lot of fun, you know, just to like have that little bit of normalcy uh, and, and frankly, to, to be with my family again. But, you know, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put up my Christmas decoration. And I'm going to, to probably do a video with that. You know, I love Christmas time. My favorite thing about Christmas is decorating. And I tend to, like, decorate my entire apartment. And I have for years. You know, I've always put up a Christmas tree. Now, it was interesting because last year, this apartment that I've been in now for going on four years... Uh, the storage closet in my living room that I have that's right over there to my left, there was a leak in there that I dealt with for months and months and months. So for, and that was right around uh, the winter time. So last Christmas, everything that was in the closet was suddenly here in this corner. So I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. And it was like just so upsetting because anytime it would rain or snow, it was raining and snowing in my closet. That has since been fixed. So then I was thinking, ah, oh, Christmas. And, you know, I immediately went to the mindset of I couldn't be bothered because of everything going on. But then it occurred to me the other day, I was like, no, actually, I can be bothered because I had lost sight of the fact that me decorating my home and making it look beautiful, in my humble opinion, makes me feel happy. And, you know, I, even if no one sees it but me, I love having my apartment decorated for Christmas. So that's actually my intention for this weekend. I think this weekend I'm going to pull all my Christmas stuff out and decorate. And then I'll do a video on that as well so you guys could see all my Christmas stuff and maybe like tell some Christmas stories or <laughs> something. So anyway, homo for the holidays because, you know, I'm basically on Christmas and on Thanksgiving. This homo is going to be home alone celebrating and, you know, hoping that time, that things will be different sooner than later. But, you know, we all have to pitch in and do our thing. So please, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, you know, forego the holiday this year. You know, I'm sure there are going to be people out there that are going to be like, oh, I don't care. And we'll do these huge gatherings because that's already been happening. And I don't agree with it. I, I don't think we should. I think if we want this to... Uh, get a grip on this and have it under control. I think everyone needs to do their part. So that's just my humble opinion. All right. So anyway, I hope you guys have a safe holiday season. I think this video is going to air sometime like right around Christmas. So when you're watching it, it should be like right there. So have a safe and healthy uh, holiday season and a happy new year and all that good stuff and take care of yourselves and each other and as always, thank you for being here with me. Don't forget, subscribe, notifications, thumbs up. Until the next time, love you.